according to the most recent information available to us, Americans have a total face value of $12 trillion in life insurance. They also have over $2.5 trillion of retirement assets in annuities. And I, of course, I believe that that's great. There's nothing wrong with those financial products for sure. But what happens when the product that you got into, that life insurance plan or that annuity contract, what happens when it no longer serves its intended purpose for you or is outdated and you're looking for better features? Well, that is where a 1035 exchange is going to come into play for you. So we're gonna talk about a 1035 exchange and why it's so important for you if you're thinking about upgrading your life insurance or annuity contract. So stay locked into this video today. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, President and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And my name is Andrea Graves, Director of Operations at the Retirement Education Center. And the reason we've created these educational videos is to help to make the difficult and confusing retirement process simple. Absolutely, Andrea. And we do this by incorporating a team of expert advisors, ranging from certified financial analysts, certified financial planners, estate attorneys, insurance advisors, and other needed professionals to help us build a holistic and comprehensive roadmap that will let our clients know when, where, and how they can reach their retirement goals. For specialized strategies on how to maximize your retirement income, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. You know, Andrew, over the years, you know, more than two decades now, as I've been working with retirees and clients and helping them position their dollars differently, you know, transferring money from a 401k to an IRA, moving an annuity um, that they had to another annuity or life insurance um, to an annuity and so forth. You know, they do that for a variety of reasons, of course. And the main thing is that, you know, as a fiduciary, you know, when you're doing any type of transfer like that, you're going to want to make sure that it's done properly for that particular client and it's done in their best interest. Because for those of you who are watching and you may have an old contract like a life insurance or an annuity that you're trying to exchange, it is very important that you never, you never move out of those products unless it's going to put you in a better position than the last product. And so when you're doing these type of exchanges, one of the key elements is making sure that when that money is moved, that you avoid any and all taxable consequences from making that exchange. And in order to do that, when it comes to a life insurance plan um, or non-qualified type of annuity, that is where the IRS code 1035 is going to be your best friend. And it is important that you understand how to utilize this so you don't make any major mistakes with your dollars. And that is why it's also important that you speak to someone like myself or any other competent advisors who can help you move money properly so you don't make that mistake and have a tax consequence that you shouldn't have had. So we're gonna talk about a 1035 exchange and how you need to be able to understand that and how to actually administer that type of exchange when it comes to your money in today's short educational video. But before we do that, as always, we like to give you two rules to retirement income. And Andrew, what are those two rules? So rule number one is to never run out of money. And rule number two is to never forget rule number one. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into our educational video today of helping you understand what a 1035 exchange is. So in today's lesson and trying to understand a 1035 exchange, this is gonna be very, very important for you because there are gonna be many of you who are watching this video who are absolutely going to be using this at some point where you're maybe leaving an insurance policy and trying to move into a different style of plan or different insurance policy, or maybe even an annuity. All those things are, can be under the 1035 exchange um, rules. So let's talk about this real quickly. The 1035 exchange, the benefit, it allows you the flexibility to trade in an older contract or you know, life insurance policy for a newer contract tax-free. This is the benefit here. It allows you to do this tax-free. Now, what's the benefit to actually do a 1035 exchange? Because there are benefits to doing this. One, you may have a plan that had higher costs. You can have lower costs um, involved with the new uh, policy or contract. You can get better features, like you can have a higher death benefit involved with doing a 1035 exchange to a more updated contract. You can get more investment choices. 
you can have more relevant features all together on that new plan and you'll be able to get into it tax free. Another thing, you may have a company that's performing badly or maybe a poor company. And so it allows you to leave that company tax free without having to worry about paying any additional um, fees or taxes because you want to exchange out of one policy to the next. Very good benefit and a very good tool to utilize if you're doing this. Now, here's some things or, or reasons not to change or utilize a 1035 exchange. And you want to make sure you're dealing with a fiduciary who will help you understand the, the, the benefit analysis of doing one thing or the other. That new policy that you get into, it must not have higher fees, right? And you have to look at the charges of getting out of that policy as well. Now, you can have significant surrender char charges leaving an annuity or life insurance policy too soon. So you must make sure that when you're leaving that policy, that you are not in a, a disadvantage. And some people will do that to you. And un that's unfortunate. But if you're talking to a fiduciary, that's highly unlikely to be the case. Also, you want to make sure that when you are changing from a different plan, that your premiums are not higher unless it is uh, quantified to why that's going to be the case. And you understand the reasons for that, like you're older. And so but you want the, 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 the new benefits from this new policy. So you're willing to accept the higher premiums. But that's one reason to understand that if, if all things are equal or pretty close to equal, you don't want to be paying a significant amount more each month for a policy um, just because someone wanted to sell you a new a new gig. I mean, so make sure of that. Also, if you have any loans outstanding on like a life insurance policy, those loans may then become taxable when they were otherwise not taxable because you had that policy, the original policy in place. And if you're in poor health, you certainly want to make sure that you don't do any 1035 exchanges before you know that you're able to qualify for that new policy. So important things to remember here. So let's go ahead and talk about the rules when you're doing a 1035 exchange. First of all, let's look at a cash value life insurance policy because you can do a 1035 exchange out of a cash value life insurance policy into another cash value life insurance policy, like to like, you can do that. You can also take a non-qualified annuity. And if you don't, if you don't know what a non-qualified annuity is, go watch our other videos where we talk about annuities and we tell you the difference between a non-qualified annuity and a qualified annuity. But you can take, you can do a 1035 exchange from a non-qualified annuity to a non-qualified annuity. You can also do a 1035 exchange from a cash value life insurance to a non-qualified annuity. Important thing to note here, you cannot take a non-qualified annuity and do a 1035 exchange into a cash value life insurance. This is not allowed. Now, how do you get around this? Well, you can take distributions from this annuity and use it to pay the premiums on that um, life insurance contract. So whatever taxes that are going to be involved in that situation, you would have to pay them, but you would then be able to utilize those dollars to buy a cash value life insurance policy. But you can't do a 1035 exchange between these two. But as you can see, you can do a 1035 exchange out of a life insurance contract into a non-qualified annuity. Here's another important thing to note. When it comes to a 1035 exchange from any of these, if let's just say one of these are owned by Mr. I don't know, he cannot do a 1035 exchange for Mrs. I don't know. So the, the actual title of the plan must stay like to like. So you can't 1035 from Mr. I don't know into a a, a, a policy for Mrs. I don't know it has to be like to like. Also, if you have a pre-tax plan, you cannot do a 1035 exchange tax-free plan to a, an after-tax plan. You cannot do that. You're going to have to do a, a uh, you have to pay the taxes on this and then go ahead and fund that after-tax plan in kind. But you cannot do a 1035 exchange from a pre-tax to an after-tax. Those taxes must be paid on that particular policy first. So I hope this information actually helped those of you who are looking to do a 1035 exchange. If you need more information about this, please feel free to reach out to our office as we can certainly help you understand these rules. So I really hope that this educational video 
gave you some insight into understanding a 1035 exchange and how you may go about using it, of course, when it comes to your money. Please remember that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always consult with your own financial advisor, your own tax advisor, and your own attorney when it comes to your personal situation. Also, if you are looking for a qualified fiduciary advisor to help you with these types of complex financial matters, we highly encourage you to click on the link provided in the description below and learn how you can become one of our high value clients. For more information on this topic or any of the other topics that we've discussed in our prior videos, please do not hesitate to reach out to our office or leave any questions or comments in the section below. To learn more about our services and how we can help you to increase your chances of not outliving your retirement savings, make sure to click on the link in the description below and sign up for our free Maximizing Your Retirement Income Masterclass. After this video, please check out our other videos that we've created that will give you tips on how to maximize your retirement. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you have questions, we have answers.